Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so about one FAQ so in core Java. So, what is that? What is a default constructor? Question. Question. What is default constructor? So, before going to discuss about what is default constructor, first we should know what is constructor. So, we know that the constructor is nothing but a special Java method, a special Java method and is having the same name of a class. The class name and constructor name should be same and of course, return type is not allowed in the definition of a constructor. We know all these things. But now the question is, so what is a default constructor, right? See. So first we'll discuss about a general method. So then we will convert into special method. So we are taking one class. We are taking one class. The class, the class name is a test. Just consider. And here it is. We are writing one static method, user method. Static, is void any method just like fun, fun and inside some logic we are writing so any logic and along with the user method fun so we are writing main method also public static void main, void main string args, string args. Now from the main method, now from the main method. So, I want to call user method fun. I want to call user method fun, right. So, generally in Java, how to access static members means using class name only. So, here if we want to call the fun method, we are using class name is a test dot fun, test dot fun. It will allow, it will not give any error message. So, because the fun method is present. For example, if you place this fun method in comments, this is multi line comments in Java, we know that. Suppose if you write this, means what? Placing something inside the comments means what? Just almost removing from the program, it will not affect the program. Okay, so now this logic in a comments. So, execution starts from the main method, and whenever we are trying to invoke that fun method, it will give error message it will give error, error it will give. So, this is a general method, but now come to the point of a special method. So, what is a special method is a constructor. Now, see the so same. So, we are writing the class, class test, class test. Inside this, so we are writing constructor, constructor name, class name should be same. And of course, logic inside logic and same story here also we are writing main method public static void main as a string arcs the main method we are writing main method. Inside the main method, I just want to access constructor, sir how to access constructor and when we call the constructor, we know that only in the process of object creation only. So, we can call the constructor explicitly. So, here we are creating object just new the test new test. So, we are calling the constructor. Anyway, constructor is present. So, it will not give any error, it will execute, it will create the object for test class. The same story just like a general method, general method. Now, special method also we are placing in comments, special method also we are placing in comments, right. So, next here it is in case of a general method, whenever we are trying to access any method, if the definition is not present, then it will give error message. So, cannot find symbol, no such constructor in the application, I mean no such method in the application, but here so, we are thinking that it, it is also gives right no such constructor in the program, no instead of that 
it will not give any error message. So, reason so though we are not writing any constructor internally the compiler will supply one constructor like this like this with empty definition with empty definition at the time of compilation compiler is looking for constructor definition in java source file if you are not providing any definition for constructor compiler will add compiler will add a default constructor. Sir, what is default constructor? What is default constructor? Compiler supplies a constructor with no arguments, zero arguments and with empty definition is called default constructor. Okay. So, here it will not give any error, no error, it invokes default constructor it acts as default constructor. So, so this is the difference between uh, ordinary method nothing but general method and special method. In case of a general method, the method definition should be present in the process of accessing right. If, if it is not present, so directly you will get error. So, but in case of a constructor, but in case of constructor, so though the constructor is not present, right, compiler will supply a constructor. Okay. So, this is so about a default constructor. Hope you understood well. For more videos, please subscribe to Narishati channel. Thank you. Thank you all.